Hello, Scorpio. This is your weekly astrological and card forecast for the week starting October 10th, 2016. And of course, this also applies to you, uh, Scorpio rising and Scorpio moon people as well. I did want to clear up something before I began. A lot of folks are kind of wondering, why didn't I mention Mercury going into Libra last week on the 7th? Well, it's because I kind of already mentioned it in the monthly astrology horoscopes for October. And if you didn't know those exist, you can always go to the main channel page and check that out. Um, I just didn't want the weekly astrology to be a cut and paste of the monthly astrology. And so the weekly astrology is definitely meant to be a little bit more about the day to day, if that makes sense. So what is going on with the day to day of this week? Well, again, as you may have already guessed, uh, Mercury has moved into Libra. Um, which is in your 12th house, which is in your privacy zone, what's going on behind the scenes, you know, the, 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 the inner world. And usually during this, you know, this time lasting about two to three weeks, you know, Scorpios, you're probably going to be feeling a little bit more like you need to pull your energy away, like you want to have more time with for yourself. Um, and also, if you are to interact with people, you want more of those less superficial more deep one-on-one -on -one connections, less so much of that out in the crowd kind of vibe. And Mercury, again, is definitely encouraging that and also getting to, you know, kind of get to know people on a much more close and personal basis, you know, less boundaries, less protections uh, and, and, you know, and wards put up uh, between you and your nearest and dearest. And this week, we've got all kinds of energy circulating around that for the sake of closeness. On Tuesday, we've got Mercury connecting to Jupiter, actually coming right in nice and close with Jupiter um, in this 12th house. And this actually could indicate an unexpected uh, bit of good news coming through a secret um, or an unexpected discovery that you either make or an unexpected discovery that is for your benefit this week. This could be something that kind of comes out of blue as a saving grace. This could be an opportunity to get discovered in terms of like a talent or an ability you have not necessarily showcased, but maybe somebody takes notice at work. Maybe somebody takes notice with a personal project you're working on. This is also an opportunity to sort of, I guess you could say, connect uh, with a close friend or a close relative behind closed doors to hatch some kind of personal, um, you know, art or business plan with this person that is actually, you know, pretty much set for success. On Thursday, we also have Mercury in the same area, however, forming a clash to Mars in your third house. And this clash feels like a necessary one to me. Okay. And there is such a thing as a necessary clash. And a lot of this has to do with conversations where it's all coming out, okay? Gloves are coming off at the end of this week. And it looks like this may be with, um, you know, with, 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 with somebody that you do know is kind of showing what's going on on the inside, but they're not articulating it. If you have, you know, and I'll, I'll explain. Have you ever had those moments where people start to act out like, well, I'm going to act out. I'm going to just, you know, you know, do whatever. And then if, you know, hopefully somebody will come and try to figure me out. Um, it's a very inefficient and probably crude way of trying to show people that you're trying to initiate a conversation with them. But this person may actually kind of be doing that this week, you know, where they're trying really, really hard to, you know, to get some attention, but they're not asking for it. They're just kind of trying to take it. And I feel like there could be a clash about that or in regards to what they're doing. Uh, a secret may come out as well during this time, and you want to be careful with Mars and Mercury clashing because there can always be a problem with oversharing with communications. Uh, maybe we are sharing way too much information. Maybe it's just too much is coming out in such a short period of time. Or maybe we might accidentally betray somebody's confidence in order to inform another. So make sure that you stay diplomatic, but also at the same time, stay conscious of your of your actions, because sometimes with the Mercury and Mars clash, again, it kind of turns into, you know, in, into sort of like a spitfire, just motor mouth. And we really don't need that this day. So what is going on with the energy of your cards while all this is happening? Well, 
For your spiritual advice for the Oracle card of the week, we do have the card of the Sigil Keeper. Um, and this card is always talking about, again, paying attention to messages that come through actions. Um, I definitely don't advise people to start judging people for their actions and things like that. You know, every once in a while, somebody's like, they're showing fear-based reactions or they're showing insecurities, and, you know, kind of like doing pop, psych pop, arm pop armchair psychology on people. That's not what I'm talking about, and I don't encourage it at all. But with the... With, this, with the Sigil Keeper, it is talking about paying attention to where, again, people's actions or, you know, circumstances are telling you more of the truth than people are willing to say out loud. In fact, the Sigil Keeper can also talk about a need to pay attention to where um, people are trying to find alternative forms of communication because they're not necessarily uh, comfortable, willing, or able to articulate what's really going on at this point in time. So it's paying attention to messages that are not explicit and learning to interpret those the right way. It might not be able to, you might not be able to do that as quickly as you think. For your earth sector, when it comes to your work, your finances and all that kind of good stuff, we do have the six of pentacles inverted. And this card can indicate a lot of you Scorpio people may be redrawing some boundaries around your availability at work because usually the Six of Pentacles inverted can talk about turning people down. Whether you're turning away business so you could have more space, some of you may be taking a couple mental health days, a couple of mental health, you know, maybe a mental health week. Some of you may also be feeling like your requests are going unheard, or maybe even some of your parameters are not being respected. Maybe people are not respecting your availability. Maybe people are not being very respectful of your unique uh, relationship to your job or your position. And that means you may be actually deciding it's time to cut yourself off. That's okay for a little while. Just don't make it a long-term thing. The Six of Pentacles inverted can also indicate, however, that if you have been waiting on some kind of approval um, or you've been waiting on notice on an application and things like that, it's going to most likely be delayed. So if you have a plan B, I would start getting that ready. For your communications with air, we do have the Three of Wands upright, and this card can actually kind of take a bit of the edge off that Six of Pentacles inverted because, again, the B plan does become the A plan this week. And with the Three of Wands upright, it looks like the B plan was probably better in the first place. You know, I, and I would honestly say that sometimes, even though we don't settle for what we want, we are settling for better than we asked for. I'll put it that way. It's like you're, you, you, getting less than you asked for can still mean getting 100% of what you want if you maybe asked for a bit too much <laughs> or we didn't ask for it the right way or we expected it to only come from one place and one place only. The Three of Wands Upright is actually showing up with better alternatives. Um, when I say better, I mean better in every sense of the word. Um, superior in terms of availability, superior in terms of reward if it has to be financial, superior in terms of collaboration, superior in terms of support, and superior in terms of accessibility. So we may actually find out that, you know, any kind of professional or social A plans that we had, we're actually inferior, even if we were attached to them. It happens. Um, again, you notice how I'm more real with, this, with, with some signs? Um, but with the, uh, you know, I think that honestly this B plan is going to graduate to A really quickly. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Knight of Pentacles, inverted. And this card can talk about some issues coming up with an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Um, this may be a friend or a relative who is proven to be quite inaccessible this week. Maybe we need them for something. Maybe they're not necessarily available for a plan that they have made or a plan that they should have been making or some consideration they should have made for you. Because with the Knight of Pentacles inverted, we tend to have kind of a status a status driven workaholic um somebody who may actually be thinking way too much about ambition and not so much about you know being human this week and i feel like sometimes these blocks can happen um when people get really desperate to kind of achieve and this may be a friend or relative you've kind of got to check you know you've got to check this person you know maybe you're kind of watching them throwing themselves into their work because they don't want to deal with something else that happens, you know, whether it's that, you know, oh, I don't want to deal with my past, so I'm going to go and try to become a millionaire and that'll somehow deal with my issues. Or maybe this person's thinking, oh, I'm going to go and 
throw myself in my work so I don't have to deal with being at home and that, that issue with whatever. That might be a bit of a problem to deal with this week, so we've got to make sure that we can help this person moderate and regulate. These are very polar cards this week. We've got the Three of Cups upright. Beautiful good news on the love front, on the romantic front, because the Three of Cups always talks about camaraderie and the deepening of the friendship quality within an existing romance. And when we talk about increasing the friendship quality, this is so important because it's one of the most important facets of a long-term relationship or creating relationship with long-term potential. You can't have a long-term relationship with somebody who's not your friend. You just can't, you know. And the Three of Cups Upright is saying the opportunity to meet somebody who fits that whole bill, that whole package, is going to be showing up this week for you. And with the Three of Cups, it's also a great opportunity for you and a partner to consider taking things to the next level by merging our friendship circles. Finally time to start doing introductions. And you may actually find that your partner is getting closer to you, getting to know you, through one of your friends. And the same could happen for you with one of their friends. Because again, we're kind of getting to see a more multi-dimensional picture of this relationship this week. So it's definitely time to enjoy that sociability that's gonna be showing up for you. So that is your forecast Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you'd like to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.